Hey, it's me, Tim Keys, and I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm sure you have all heard about Reason's new promotion. Um, they had it on their Facebook page a couple days ago. If you take advantage and you update to Reason 11, they would give you 12 as a free upgrade when it comes out at the end of the summer. Um, also, if you jump in and get the subscription, which is now only a buck thirty-nine for a whole year, which ain't bad, by the way, you would also get to access a lot of those features early. Um, so they would start putting in the reason twelve features in the doll a little bit earlier than you know. <clears throat> the official release date of reason 12 so that's a good thing um they also put out a new video and they talked about some of the new features that they're adding um one of those being the new combinator now for those of you who don't know the combinator was a device that came out back in reason 3 back in 2005 and at the time the combinator was amazing because what it allowed you to do was basically you could take all of the existing instruments that were in reason and the effects and if you knew what you were doing you could create some amazing instruments within the combinator you could stack you could layer you could do all sorts of creative instruments and effects with the combinator um, the only drawback at the time was, you know, they gave you so many knobs. The old Reason Combinator gave you four buttons and four knobs. So on one end, it was good because of its simplicity. You've only got four knobs and four buttons to choose from. So you could take a bunch of instruments, stack them together, and you pick your parameters and then go from there. Select which knob turns what, select which button does what, and go from there on the flip side um, because it was limited you know there was only so much that you could do at the time the other thing was they pretty much left the combinator mostly unchanged since 2005 and so you know other softwares and other instruments that have kind of implemented those features um, have kind of bypassed the combinator um, which you know stinks because again like the combinator was a great idea for its time and it, it kind of mimicked the behavior of hardware instruments like your core tritons or your um, alesis fusions where you could take multiple engines and again you could just stack them and layer them together and, and create these effects change all within the device to create these beautiful tones and sounds that you could not get um, with the individual instruments by themselves so the combinator was dope um, and matter of fact I don't think there were a lot of other dolls that let you do that as easily as Reason's Combinator did. Um, the only thing that comes to mind now is maybe the new um, rack that's in Ableton that does something similar, but I don't know to what degree. Um, you can build your own instrument in a reactor, but reactor can be very overwhelming uh, because you get more into coding. Um, Halion can do it. Contact can do it. And I think that's it. No, um, Core. The discontinued Core 2 can do it. If anybody has Core 2 or even Core 1, um, you know what I'm talking about in terms of sheer horsepower and the ability to be able to take multiple instruments and kind of mesh them together to create all sorts of new tones. Um, so the fact that they have updated or they're going to update their combinator, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and I'm kind of curious as to what that will bring. 
uh, for recent users, especially folks who've been using the Combinator long term and, and now you got access to VSTs, um, you can make some creative stuff happen. So I'm looking forward to that. The other thing I'm looking forward to is they're coming out with a new sampler. Finally, say that again, finally. Um, nothing wrong with the NN19. Uh, the NN19 is a great sampler. I still use it. Um, the only thing I don't like about the NN19 at this point is it does not handle one shots that well. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good multi sample player and device. Um, it's got some synthesis based features in it um, in terms of its layout and you can do some pretty neat stuff in it but it hasn't been updated like they haven't touched that in 19 since reason one uh the nnxt came out back in, i think in reason two or reason three um and it was great for its time it was it was also a great multi-sampler device and a, and a, and a great multi-layered multi-sample device meaning that not only could i take you know samples from different instruments and have the whole key bed sampled but I could do that with different types of instruments so if I wanted a, a cello on top of an electric guitar um, both multi sample and then I wanted a, a analog synthesizer that was you know pre-recorded and I wanted that also stuck in the NNXT you could do it but you know that hasn't been changed since it came out and they never updated it um, at the time. What they did was when they came out with grain, they, they gave you a simple single oscillator, single sample oscillator. And if you use the tape effect or the tape stop setting, then it kind of gives you that feel of a, of a basic traditional sampler. Um, but then again, it's, it's saving graces, all of the different ways you can process that sound through granular synthesis. So they kind of like meet some of the needs that way if you're heavy into sample based synthesis, but they haven't really updated the sampler. So I'll, I'll be curious to see what this one looks like. Um, if they'll give you features like a Serato sampler or, you know, the i think the the free loop playback devices they have it where it does automatic pitch detection um stuff like that it would be really dope and i saw somebody comment on it earlier i think it would be really dope if they took recycle and just fully integrated it into reason i know they kind of did that on reason seven where they took features of Recycle and they allowed you to mess with the sample by, you know, using the settings in the sequencer. You can change the transients in the sample. You can convert the sample to Rex files within the sequencer. Um, it's a lot you can do, but it would be dope if they really would have taken Recycle updated it so that it was you know native to the uh, reason ecosystem itself instead of it being a separate deal take some notes from serato sampler in terms of the key detection right uh, put the time stretch algorithm built in build it into the device and really allow the user to take those samples and stretch it mangle it for loop playback cut it up like you would on the mpc um and you know add some other features that are not seen or, or do it in the way that reason really shines for for their instruments i think that'd be good um looking forward to the 4k although it's not as big of a deal for me it's not not like a deal breaker if they don't do it but it is nice that they are listening to their users <clears throat> One thing that I will say that I wish Reason would do, and they haven't confirmed it either way, 
but I really hope that they implement the VST3 support. Um, they allow you to use their own software as a VST and other softwares and it's formatted as VST3. That was smart, acceptable, cool, whatever. But um, since the implementation of VST support, Reason users have been requesting VST3 support. And yeah, there are some workarounds, there are some other ways you can get VST3 support within Reason, but it would be nice if they just went on ahead and just added that feature into the DAW, especially in 2021. Yes, we, there are a lot of VST2s formatted that's still out there, but that stuff would be phased out as we move forward with technology. Uh, VST3 is the move that a lot of developers are making. Why not? Why wouldn't you implement it into your own software, especially considering the fact that you've already made your software in that format for other people to use. So I hope that's something that they add to it. Um, other than that, I hope they, they do some updates to the sequencer and improve some workflow issues uh, for users and really take the in uh, time to innovate that sequencer. Um, but, you know, time will tell. It, it's May and they got to the end of the summer. So probably sometime around September or end of August, whenever they decide to do it. Um, hopefully they will... Um, you know, have a workable product. Hopefully they'll have something that their customer base will appreciate. Um, I'll be demoing 12 when it comes out and I'm looking forward to it as somebody who enjoys creating sounds and, and making new tones and playing with samples. I'm looking forward to playing with these new devices and seeing how they work. So yeah, that's all I got for this video, Reason 12. Um, you know, if you take the time to comment, let me know if you're going to get it. Let me know if you're going to wait. Um, either way, hey, uh, thank you for watching and have a good one.